I want to start with congrats on being able to make another season of Party Down. I'm a huge fan of the show. Season I've seen the first five episodes of season three and laughed like a crazy person. So I'm just right. going to say um, congrats. Thank you. Yeah, it's. I mean, honestly, that's the reaction that uh, gives me confidence that maybe the fans will also feel the same way. It's I'm so happy. Like that's the biggest worry is that um, we'll be released and and people will be disappointed because they've been waiting for it for so long. It's the no. only show that, that people come up to me and they're like, are you guys making more of Party Down? I love Party Down. And I'm like, I hope so, man. I want to be there more than you want to see it. Um, so here we are. We finally did it. I hope I hope it's received well. My thing is that I'm a greedy SOB. I now know. that you've six, done- Six isn't enough. Yeah, so my question is, do you think there's a chance of more or was this like a one and done thing? I hope there's a chance of more. The, this isn't obviously a decision that I get to make, but I do hope that with, um, you know, uh, uh, with a good reception as we come out into the world again for season three, that, it, you know, if the, if the fan base is there and, and grows a little bit, I hope that we will have um, the opportunity to do a, a fourth one. That's the dream. Yeah. I, I also like, uh, listen, I would have been happy with, you know, 20 episodes, but I'll take the six. Yeah. You know, whatever I whatever I can get. So I, I definitely want to know what was it like, like the night before you're getting ready to step on set for that first day of filming? Um, had you rewatched the first two seasons? Were you actually a little bit nervous to go film or was it all excitement? For me, it's excitement. It isn't nerves uh, like, you know, when I was younger, when I, you know, in my like, I don't know, I guess I grew up out here, too. So it's a it's a different by, but um, every time before the first day of any job, really, this one in particular, I just can't get sleep. I get I'm too excited to figure out what's going on. I think it's there's more anxiety with other jobs because you don't know what you're getting into, and so day one could be anything. But with especially with this, it's just excitement. You know, I I, I just want to get back to playing with my friends. Like this is summer camp at its best. Um, yeah. Um, did I, that didn't answer your question. What was your question? No, no, it, no. Where, no, do, I, it, where it, do I go it, now? No, it totally worked. My, okay, so um, I don't want to do spoilers, but one of the episodes of the first five uh, yeah. has to do with um, the, everyone doing drugs. And I'm curious when, <laughs> when. It's weird that you would pick that episode. Anyway, continue. <laughs> no, but I, I want to specifically <laughs> talk about when you read in the script that everyone's going to be high. And, yeah. you, you know, do, are you excited about that or are you a little bit nervous because you have to portray, you have to be sober while portraying being fucked up? We have to be sober. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, it was fun. It's it's I think it, it, it's even more fun, you know, because the what was it, the end of season two is the Constance Carmel wedding. And I'm really high in the bathroom writing my manuscript and that was just me. And so I, I think there's some there's something um, more. Um, I mean, that was fun. Don't get me wrong. But there's something more fun about everybody kind of going on a journey like that together. It almost feels like you really are doing mushrooms together. Whoops, no spoilers. Um, <laughs> but that, you know, it, it you all get to like go down, travel that road together. Um, it's, it makes it more fun because you're all exploring what that reality feels like, you know, while you're eating mushroom chocolates by the truckload. How much did John tell you about the arc and what was going to be happening, um, you know, before filming began? And how much were you finding out script by script? Uh, I mean, I had a conversation with him before we started shooting and he hinted at the evolution of um, Roman and, you know, um, the the teasing of uh you know certain plot points that are really fun to to play out and i think the most fun going into this third season is it was less about standalone episodes the way the first two seasons were where the real arcs only existed for um adam and lizzie that that romance was the the real development that happened episode to episode but in in this new season i think we all have um, arcs on some wavelength that are it's just more fun to play in that you know the development of the characters and the development of of the stories as a whole and how they intertwine i totally agree it's also how different 
um, television is from when you guys first made Party Down to where it is now. Yeah, it was also built uh, with a different, with a specific formula. I, you know, I think the structure of the show was meant to allow for different people to come in in case somebody couldn't make it for season three, should we get picked up for that third season way back when. Um, and now it's the show doesn't exist unless we get our people back. Like it really is about the crew. That's that's how we have this opportunity to come back is because of the success of the first two seasons. So you can't just do it with a whole new group of people, I don't think. Um, but thankfully for me, because <laughs> I got the call to come back. Um, but yeah, and you know, hopefully if we get to do another season, we'll um, be able to have Lizzie back and have it be a, a proper reunion of everybody. Um, and hopefully she doesn't set the standard where somebody else <laughs> can't do it next season or something. <laughs> Um, yeah, you've done a lot of stuff through your, in the last 20 years. Um, if someone has actually never seen anything you've done, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? I don't, I'd rather just talk to them and have a conversation. <laughs> right. Don't, don't watch anything. <laughs> I mean, like, what am I the most proud of? That's a hard question. No, no, no. Not even, not even that is like, maybe there's a, a role or something that you're, you know, that didn't get enough people watching it and you want them to see that. I did a, a an episode a year on uh, life in pieces, and every year I got to do a really fun character there. That's I, I'm unrecognizable. I think it, it was uh, my friend Justin created that show and asked if I would come and play uh, a pest exterminator, and and uh, and so I, I I had it contingent on the pronunciation of a particular word, which really was where I derived a lot of the character from. And I just got to play. Like, I, I just like, I like, I just like playing. I mean, Party Down is, is really um, a great place for anyone to start with any of our careers. And, and I think there's a lot of, um, you know, the spider web of talent and, and opportunities and shows and movies that, that come from this group is really incredible. But I, I think Party Down really stands, um, stands alone in a really special way for all of us. I'm almost out of time. I definitely have to say congratulations on Tulsa King. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I didn't I didn't expect it to kind of get this kind of following. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I, I think Stallone still deserves the audience that he's getting here, but I guess I just didn't expect it. There's so much to watch now. You kind of don't anticipate anything, you know, being standout. Uh, when Stallone signed on for that, I was like, and I will be watching. I watched the whole season because I'm a fan of Sly and he doesn't do TV. Yeah, he's great. I, I really enjoyed working with him. I definitely have to ask you, uh, do you know when you start filming the second season? I, we don't have dates yet. I think they're working out so many details. We don't even know where we're going to do it this year so or this next season. So I'm excited to find out everything. Um, I don't think they've dug into scripts or anything yet. I could be wrong, but, you know. The impending writer strike certainly yeah. would urge anyone to get get moving.